who is all this? The either endearing or annoying companion that accompanies you throughout the game. In this video, we'll go over his backstory. His story begins as he remembers being prepared as the Oregon's honored guest. He enters a great hall as his heart fills with hatred. He begins to remember a dream of holding his sword atop a heap of death. Describe the big gravity sum of genocides he had performed for the organ, then sinking and suffocating. He comes to by the sound of organ chimes and his knees are bent against the floor. It is revealed his title is the Beast of the Bones and his true name being Orden Karis. He sees an organ holding a vial of kuva in his hand, preparing to turn Orden to an organ like them for a service described to be no greater gift, no greater prize, no greater love we can give you than this to be one of us. However, Orden did not want to become an organ, but to kill them. He was haunted by the amount of death he caused and wanted to die rather than live forever. He mentions he was called a mercenary, but describes himself to be a warrior, and he valued the bond his sisters and brothers and rituals the most. He begins to initiate combat and the Dax start to notice. Orden bests the Dax and starts to target the organ. Orden then mentions all the killing was just to gain the organ's trust so he could kill them. He mentioned he was loyal up until an ugly child who was caught spying in his group and amplifying their losses was brought to him, and he realized he and others like him were ruining themselves for the pleasure of the glorious and beautiful. Orden's healer then reveals to him that his blood was in ruin and that he died in shame rather than in glory. As a result, he decides to kill immortals. He then sees the bodies drained of blood and life, but they just laugh in response, and he started to hear applause. Ballast then mocks Orden for his attempt and gives him Kuva to drink. He's then turned into a Cephalon named Ordis, where his hate and murderous feelings fade away and make his way for feeling cool and bright and happy. Ballast then gives him a purpose, the controller, and shows him the operator and forces him to love them. This was his sentence for trying to kill the Orokin. Ordis finds remnants of his former life after witnessing the operator's brutality. As the Tano went to fire sleep after the old war, Ordis felt the Orokin recede and found his lost memory. He wanted to self-destruct and stopped at the last milliseconds as he thinks of the operator and how he was going to wait for them forever. He then starts to hide the shards of his memory away in other bits of memory. He realizes the operator is beginning to wake, then imagines himself hurting the operator and he suppresses more of his memory. This is Ordis' backstory as we know it thus far. He then appears during the awakening quest and then throughout the game. If you enjoyed the video, Think about subscribing or giving a like. I also stream on Twitch. Thanks for watching all the way.